we're back. You guys are familiar with this Supra. Fudge, what do we got here? Well, we've, it's a Supra. Uh, it's a gray Supra. One we've done a good amount of work for. Yeah. PPF, wheels, lowering, everything. Yeah. What did I do last time? You did downpipe. something, dude. I did a catted downpipe. Okay. Um, so EPA now, compliant. Now, we have something else going on. What do we got? We got a Tomei catback. Cool. So, we're going to give you a stock comparison to... Well, with stock with, with the... Yeah, well, stock with, with the, the high flow. Works, catted downpipe yeah. to a stock exhaust and then the active to the Tomei. Cool. Um, Tomei, I've done the single uh, exit. This is the dual exit tips. Okay. Uh, it, it is... It sounds great. So... Well, let's see what it sounds like now, and then we'll compare and contrast. You dig? Yeah, let's do it. Right. So we got the B58 going in and getting some work done. Let's do it, Fudge. unboxing table oh we're back at the unboxing table fudge we got a box full of goodies i have a question hmm home or not home that is the question Woo! look at those welds titanium bro look at that i can lift it with one finger full titanium so we got the tome full titanium cat bag exhaust system for the 20 21, 22, 22, I don't know what year it is, but MK5 Supra. And we got it going unboxing here. Yes, sir. A bunch of stuff. Look at all that. Look at that, dude. Let's get, let's get some B-roll of this.
Hell fudge. Ooh. That's burnt. Burnt tips. Burnt tips. Burnt ends. Looks like we got the exhaust on. Yes, How's sir. the install go? Uh, not too bad. It's You're going just, all over the place. You like that? Yeah, it's crazy. Squiggly squirmer. Um, it's kind of like just anytime you get into an aftermarket world of exhaust, instead of it being nice and easy in one piece, like the stock, like the OEM, right? it's section A, section B, section D, section D, splitter. You know, there's a lot of clamps. There's a lot of adjustments. There's a lot of that. So you spend more time tinkering with everything, trying to get it right, than you actually do putting the exhaust on the car. So May does a pretty good job. Uh, there's a little bit of finagling to get it on, but once you get it fit, I mean, you have this bracket and then you have like the, uh, the spring clamps here. So if you kind of line up everything, it puts you in a pretty good range to know where you're at. Cool. So uh, yeah, this is it. This is the Type D. So they have a Type R, which is just one. Um, Coming out of one exit, right? Correct. Cool. And then it doesn't do this one, but this is the Type D. I like it because it kind of keeps like that OEM it does. cool tip. There's no like empty tip there. Right. So uh, yeah, no. This is oh, this looks great. Goes all the way up to the downpipe. Awesome. Yeah. Ready for a cold start, Fudge? I'm ready too, Tyler. Let's do it. Thanks, do it. All right, Fudge. You know what to do. Give me a losing weight. Make it Give me a cold start. All right, Fudge. We are in the MK5. This guy thinks it's, so, it's going to be so loud. He already has his earmuffs yeah, on. Yeah, he does. He does. We're in the MK5 Supra. With listen, listen to how much noisier it is now. Like, yeah, it's a lot better. It was just a, it was just a Corolla. It's a lot better now. Oh, this is a Supra. So we have a JB4 on this one. Because this is a 22 and he hasn't opted to like send the ECU out or anything like that yet, so it is making a little bit more jam. We did that last time actually. Yep. So, it's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of pops and bangs, nothing crazy, just a nice OEM sound, but it sounds so much better. It does. It really woke it up. Well we'll go down to the spot fudge, do a flyby and see how it sounds. Ram. Do the roar. All right, guys, we're going to get some revs. There's no valves or anything in this, so this is just how it sounds. <laughs> Fudge, all in all, this thing sounds great. All in all, uh, I suggest it's homemade. If it's something that you're looking to put an exhaust on, you don't want to go with the normal AWE or um, other Borla is a popular one too. So May is always a good option. Uh, it's titanium, so you save a bunch of weight uh, and it will never rust, which is also another positive. So all in all, I give it a 9.7 on the Fudge. Woo! Thanks, Fudge.